My name is Carlijn Adema. I head services marketing for Nokia. 5G will create extraordinary business opportunities for operators, but also for many businesses in the ecosystem around it. 5G is different than any other G. It has three key criteria that makes it special. Extreme reliability, low latency, and high bandwidth. And these things make it that operators can offer entirely new services to a host of different industries. For example, it suddenly becomes possible to create a remote concert experience in your living room because you have the high bandwidth, low latency required for that. Factories can be served with wireless connectivity because of the extreme reliability it brings. 5G is the opportunity for operators to go beyond connectivity services and network usage and really look at new business models like recurring revenues or as a service models. The 5G ecosystem is wide and it crosses many industry boundaries, which makes it really exciting. Suddenly you can see startups working with mature companies, but also many industries coming together. You can see drone companies working with manufacturing companies, e-health companies, Whole new ideas come from different industries to create new solutions. And then you get a whole host of new services that can change society. Nokia is actively working with a wide range of, of partners to build new 5G services and use cases. We've clustered uh, 5G use cases in, in nine categories. Enhanced mobile broadband, faster speeds, which you see today. Also, fixed wireless access is being rolled out, which is basically 5G to the home, giving the massive speeds and latency that we've talked about. But there's a whole range of other categories that we're exploring. Immersive is a, is a key one. So for immersive gaming, automotive, video analytics being used in a production line where you can spot anomalies if something goes wrong or video analytics even in a city environment to spot a congestion or a traffic incident in a harbor where a drone can count the number of containers on a ship. So there's lots of different clusters of use cases that we are working on with ecosystem partners that, that we already have today. One of the operators I was talking to recently said, how do I orchestrate my nine different partners I'm working with to create one service in a harbor? You know, the challenge is to integrate and orchestrate the, the service assurance and then making sure that everyone gets a piece of the revenue of that service. That's the type of complexity that we at Nokia can, can help with. We can orchestrate that entire uh, service creation and assurance process and then make sure that everyone gets a piece of that revenue. So these type of initiatives help with accelerating 5G services so operators can, can monetize 5G faster. And second of all, the adoption of 5G services and new 5G use cases is important for society because then we can really start to see the benefits 5G brings in terms of sustainability, in terms of productivity and in terms of safety. So have a look at our, our growing ecosystem of partners. It's really exciting to see how we are collaborating and co-creating everyday new use cases that will bring 5G to life and make 5G a reality. So really, uh, really exciting to see that.